Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I am Adding Gaming and I am back with another reaction video and today we got some more Madden news Yes, we've been, I ain't gonna lie to you, this week has been Madden news crazy and I'm loving it And this one we got Madden 24 official beta, play Madden 24 early It's, it's, it's about that time already, I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy think about it's about that time already the beta is about to come out can't wait to see the news about this one but before we hop into this video i need you guys to like this video right now subscribe to your boy if you want more videos just like this one and also i will be holding my thoughts and opinions for after the video so we're gonna play the video all the way through and we just going listen observe and then we're going to talk about and then i'm gonna talk about what, what i feel in the video but without further ado jump right into it it's officially madden 24 season we're full steam ahead to the new game as madden 23 is now officially on the back burner and we just got the first bit of information about when we can expect the madden 24 beta i've got all of the sign up information and everything you need to know i'm going to walk you through how to sign up for the beta what you can expect and i'm going to also go over a few other things we learned via the beta information it's actually pretty exciting for madden 24 now if you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on any of the madden 24 updates that we're going to start getting daily now there's going to be a flood of new info coming and also there is a supposed nfl 2k arcade game that is set to finally drop at the end of the year we're going to be getting some information on that hopefully soon as well so if you don't want to miss out on any of that make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you always get the latest updates when they go live we're so close to 500k and we're trying to hit that mark before the release of madden 24 so if everybody watching just subscribe we can hit that number today and it really does help the channel out a ton and is appreciated so late last night the madden nfl direct twitter account put out a message that madden fans have been waiting for and they put this message out much earlier this year than they had done in years past which is a really good thing it said hey madden fans you can click the link below to log into your ea account and register for a limited madden nfl opportunity please note that this opportunity is only for xbox series x s playstation 5 and pc must be 18 plus and in the u.s or canada now nina's got a lot of ideas for the future every year ea drops this announcement and for some reason a lot of people think it's like a spam thing or they've been hacked or this isn't legit and i get those concerns because i mean that kind of thing does happen a lot nowadays and people don't want to click on a link and then lose their information but this is an official sign up for the beta they do this every year somewhat around this time usually a little bit later but they never say outright that it is for the beta they never say it i don't really know why but it's for the beta it's for you to get your hands on the game early to test it out try out the new features see what's changed with the modes and really it kind of acts like a free trial in a sense because the beta is usually very close to the final product yes some things do get changed there's always bugs that will get fixed before the game comes out but you can get a pretty good idea what the game is playing like before you actually buy the game so if you don't like it it actually can save you some money now i'm going to show you exactly what you have to do to sign up and if you do sign up you're pretty much guaranteed to get a beta code but you might not get it right away it depends how they send the codes out because usually when it is actually live they'll send the codes out to your email in different waves so the beta might be live for two weeks but you might not get your code until the second week sometimes that's how it happens some people get it up front and can play for the whole two weeks some people only get it for the second week so that is kind of normal so don't freak out if you don't get a code right away even if you do sign up also if you were a part of the franchise mode bugs this year that caused you to lose a league or have corrupted leagues you're gonna have automatic access to the beta anyway if you've gotten an email about that already that means you're gonna be getting a beta code when it goes live in june but if you do want to sign up just to be safe you can sign up you're not gonna get both beta codes but if you want kind of a backup and you want to sign up just in case something happens or if you didn't get the franchise email for some reason then make sure you sign up with this link because signing up will pretty much guarantee you a code and if for some 
some reason, even after all that, you don't get a code, make sure to follow me on my social media accounts because I'm going to always have a ton of codes to give away and I'm going to be giving them away as soon as the beta goes live. So here's the page you're going to get when you click the link. I'll provide the link in the description. It's going to say to register, log into your EA account for a limited Madden NFL opportunity. You must be 18 plus and in the US or Canada. And as you can see, the registered dates are going to be from April 21st, which was late last night to April 28th. So you have a week to register. It's not first come first serve. Just make sure you register before the end date on April 28th. Then it's going to bring you to a screen to log into your EA account. You just need to use your email and password to your EA account that is linked with your gamer tag, whether you're on PlayStation, PC, Xbox. If for some reason you don't have an EA account, then just go create one and make sure you tie the gamer tag and the system that you play on to this account. Once you sign into that, you're going to have a loading screen. Then it's going to pop up. It's going to ask you for your first name, your last name, your email address, and it's going to ask for your preferred console. So if you have an EA account with more than one console, pick the one that you want to play the beta on then it's just going to ask you to confirm your information and then you're going to submit the registration and you're going to be good to go and then after you submit the registration it's going to reveal to you right here that says thanks for signing up make sure to check your inbox on june 8th for this exciting opportunity so that means the beta is going live on june 8th which is a little bit earlier than it has in years past i believe last year it was like mid to late june the year before that it was in july and and honestly the earlier that the beta goes live the better because that gives them a bigger window to fix any potential problems the biggest thing with the beta is you do get to kind of test out the game early you get that free trial but there's going to be more bugs in the beta typically than there's going to be at launch because there's a lot of little things they're still cleaning up in those last two months before the game releases and of course we know the game still does release with bugs i mean that's just kind of become common for madden and other games nowadays but some of the bugs you see in the beta obviously won't be in the game because they'll have time to clean it up but the other thing is you can provide feedback on some of the gameplay mechanics just how the game is playing in general how some of the features in franchise mode or career mode are working and you can tell them what needs to be fixed or what you think needs to be adjusted and with more time before the game comes out it gives them a better chance to fix more of those issues or make more adjustments before the game actually releases now the big thing we did learn from this is that pc is a part of the beta which it has not been for the past two years which confirms that the pc version of madden 24 is going to finally come up to par with ps5 and the xbox series x slash s meaning it's going to be on current gen and it's no longer going to be on last gen so pc is finally getting all of those newer generation upgrades that people have been waiting for for years and this also very likely means that crossplay is finally going to be coming over to madden 24 now that pc is finally caught up with the new gen because on fifa when pc went over to new gen last year that was also the year they introduced crossplay for fifa so it looks like those those two things are definitely going to be locked for Madden 24, which is a pretty big deal and something a lot of people have been waiting for. This also means that the first big wave of information for Madden 24 is likely going to come a little bit earlier this year than in the past two years, because if you remember for Madden 22, the beta was in July and we got the information like a couple weeks before the beta. Last year for Madden 23, the beta was in like mid-June, so we got the information about Madden 23 in the first week of June or maybe the second week, I can't remember. So now that we know that the beta is starting on June 8th, that means there's a good chance we're going to get a lot of information about Madden 23, maybe at the end of May or at the very, very beginning of June. It kind of depends on how they want to drop it, but we're probably going to be getting information a little bit earlier this year than in the past few years, which is always a good thing because we want to know what's coming, what's been worked on, what's been fixed. And after some of the issues that 23 has had, we're looking for a lot of things to change this year as it's reportedly a make or break year for the franchise. We'll see how that winds up coming out but there's a lot of info that we're waiting to hear in terms of what you can expect in the beta obviously it's going to be really focused on whatever gameplay changes they make but we also heard from some of the leaks already that this is supposedly a big year for the offline modes that they're really gearing towards the offline gamer especially after the issues of last year they also revealed a few days ago that they're going to be dropping a bunch of new commissioner tools for franchises i think both offline and online so that you can customize leagues better but there's also been some leaks that career mode is supposedly getting a 
a lot of upgrades a lot of needed upgrades this year and that franchise is going to still be a focus as well so in the beta you're going to get to experience that what they've done with franchise what they've done with career mode and also what they've done with gameplay so there's a lot of stuff to test out with the beta it's not just like a very bare bones game the last two years they have put all of the modes in the beta and there's been a lot of different things to test out which is good so we'll be able to kind of get a good idea in less than two months of what Madden 24 is truly looking like so again if you don't want to miss out on anything make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on and make sure to check out this video right here where i went over some I ain't gonna lie to you i'm excited and i'm glad he showed you the uh showed us the steps i'm super excited for madden 24 hopefully i can play it this year play right that's my number one wish right there well you could put it doesn't matter what system you own all your friends that play xbox pc whatever playstation all coming together and just having a fun time that that is epic in the offline play because i'm an offline player myself i'm so glad to see i'm so glad to hear that they're actually you know putting more work into it hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction love every single one of you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one